day one. Final adjustments. Can't wait to get out. That's my first first outback experience, and what better way to do it than on jeans? Where are we heading, Noel? Chilly go, that's it. Getting the sense of a camaraderie and confidence out of that. You know, when you ride on your own a lot, it's not, you don't take so many risks and this will be a nice, in a good way, a good risk taking um, exercise for me as far as sand, corrugations, uh, long days. Yeah, that'll be good. Only, I think it's like 460K, something like that. So not too far, but yeah, should be good. We've got a bit of tarmac, uh, which I think will bed everything in, uh, but then I can't wait to get on that dirt. It's gonna be awesome. I only use bitumen to get to the dirt. That's what, that's what all of this is all about. Adventure riding is about finding back roads and seeing awesome scenery. Just a good life, mate. It's a good way to live your life. It's a good way to get out there and just have a great adventure with your mates and your brothers. I reckon today, for day one, is going to be pretty good. Here we are in beautiful Cairns, getting ready for 2023 Safari Enduro, and we're looking forward to an epic adventure across the top of Australia. Look out, Darwin, here we come. because there's nothing out there and um, to fill up here, fill up the bladder. We are at the Carbine Roadhouse according to the road sheet, so always good to have that to hand. So, uh, 100 120, 130Ks into it. Good news is, great weather, warm and dry, not too sticky, clear skies, a bit of dust, but good to be out on trails, man. Very nice, very happy. It's my first uh, safari and um, not used to riding on dirt, so uh, taking it easy. I've got a mine, but depends on how much wheel spin you're doing, I guess. Yeah. Might change that number. <laughs> <laughs> it's getting a little bit hot and dusty though. Yeah. We're going alright. It's going to be a sensational day, mate. <laughs> We thought, this, we, thought this, we thought this guy was a publican. <laughs> so we stopped here to see if we could get a beer off him. Just enjoying the day, mate. Yeah. It's doing me best, and that's all it is. It's beautiful. That's just lovely. Love it.
day one of the safari and duro for 2023 done. We rode 466 kilometers from Cairns this morning. Super long day today on the bike, lots of dust. It's definitely warm. We're here at the Chiligo Eco Lodge camping here tonight. Everyone's at the back of campsites. Dinner at the Chiligo Cockatoo Hotel. Uh, good day. Had a little high side and hit some sand, but otherwise it was uh, made awesome. So I grew up riding motorbikes when I was young, so I've done a fair bit of motocross and flat track and stuff, but not much GS stuff, so... I've never been to Cairns, never even been to Darwin, so everything I'm seeing is first time, it's yeah, pretty special. It was awesome. We did a couple of hundred k's of bitumen to get out of Cairns, and then we were on... It was like a GS roller coaster. It was unbelievable terrain for about 300 k. Here we go. We got in about 35. Pretty solid day for everyone to kick off. But our route tomorrow is uh, 570 k roughly. So a mega solid day on the bike. We've got a fuel dump at 300 k at Dunbar Station. This is day one of seven days. So can't wait to get stuck in it tomorrow and uh, make this whole event come together. of a fuel stop at the minute, a bit of lunch and yeah just fueling up some of the GS's. The GSIs should be all fine if they haven't um, yeah, used the right wrist to punch. Managed to get a little out of the dust but enough to show that I've actually been there, had a good time. Nice yeah, you actually find that little spot, you find that little sweet spot and um, you're just riding alone in this beautiful country so uh, yeah happy days. <laughs> <laughs> all filled up, all ready to uh, wheel into Corumba for a beer. I think that 560 kilometers uh, in total and uh, we're just at the 320 kilometer mark. going really good. I think everyone's getting through. Tricky back there. I think a few people went down, but nothing serious. The texture and the deepness just changes randomly. So I thought I'd just sit here on the river, river and look for a croc. I fed them some salami and some orange peel, but I think they're not hungry.
ridiculous day. A, a true enduro day, I think you'd say. 570 Ks, uh, fast and loose, some really sketchy, fluffy stuff, lots of squeaky bum time. We headed out of Chilago. There's a sign that tells you last fuel 560 Ks away or something. That really gives you the gives you the idea of how remote we are. So check this out. This is today's ramp sheet. Is there anything wrong with that? One, two, three, four, five instructions for one of the longest days I've had on the GS. So you can see, out of, out of Chilago, fuel dump at 300 Ks, nothing for another 230 Ks, just lots and lots of scary times on a motorbike. But fantastic fun. Here we are, Karumba Point, right up in the Gulf of Carpentaria. Believe it or not, it's still in Queensland. I've taken an aeroplane, I've taken, I've been on my motorbike for two full days and we're still in Queensland. What a, what a mad country. Today, today was really good. I, I actually enjoyed the little sand section. Um, they were a surprise. They turn up every now and then, sometimes on a corner. And, but yeah, enjoyable day. Pretty quick, big straights. Sunset is in like 40 minutes. I've got to put up a tent get changed, have a shower, and get to sunset. So, that's all I got, I'm going to sunset. Epic, good, great, fun, watching this, stunning. Sunset, after an epic, long, 577 kilometer ride through the dirt. It's the second time I've ever done it. Mind you, they have been running around collecting Another big day on BMW Safari GS Enduro 2023. Riders um, have been in for a while and the techs are all really busy to get the bikes ready for tomorrow, tire replacements and so on. It's getting a bit late and everyone's in the bar, bench racing, getting into, into the drinks early, so. You have to be kind to your bike hand yourself over this kind of distance out here in this remote location. We're just here at Riders Briefing tonight, wrapping up day two. The tech team are still working furiously down there at the uh, truck, trying to um, service everyone's bikes, change tyres, get everything ready for day three. Tomorrow is a bit easier day. We've got 365 guys to our next destination, so it should be a cruisier day for everyone. It's hard to see you when your eyes look dull Who's gonna save you? Who's gonna make you? Where, where are we? Crumba Point? Get ready to head off to the next stop, wherever that might be. <laughs> where, where, is, where are we going to Right Where are you going on site? Take me down to the fellas. Right. Yeah. Oh, I know my Jeep. Dubbage is a, an Aboriginal settlement where I have worked in the past 20 years ago. So it'll be interesting to visit that again. Yeah. Well, that'll be a bit easy by the sounds of things. So looking forward to a relaxing day on the bike. Fast dirt roads, I believe. Unless yes. you've got any other information for us. <laughs> Fast dirt roads, lots of dust. A lovely morning here in Corumba. We actually have a late start time today, a bit of a rest day for the crew and riders. So uh, it's a little bit more relaxed than usual. I think the group heads out at 10 a.m. So yeah, we get to actually see everyone for breakfast for the first time in about eight safaris. Short day, but we've had a few big days the last few days. So I think the boys will be happy to roll into Gregory Downs reasonably early this afternoon and have a rest. So should be good. Yeah, when I was trying to open my visor, it was like, it's like turbulence. It's like I couldn't find it. And I flipped my visor up a few times. 
a bit windy, I think. Had a headwind. Yeah, crazy start, nice yeah. Little, easy start. Very relaxed. Yeah. But how many right. K's today we've got? Today? 360, we've already got we've already done Dusty. Dusty. Yeah. Dusty. So we just don't enjoy the conditions, just having a great time. So yeah. uh, it's good fun. I'm guessing you're at the back. Yeah. The dad you know. There he is. He's, back, he's our wingman. He's back into your lockup. Practice the emergency stop. He's the uh, ex Cafe Pacific pilot. He used to fly a Pepsi helicopter. Yeah. <laughs> Enjoying it, loving the termites. Except my taking pictures, everyone leaves me behind. No, the termite mounts. What's um, the, what's the map? There we are. The map? I've been up to here, I've been to Arumki, Arumki, this place, all of this. Yeah. I've ridden across Afghanistan, Tajikistan, Turkestan. This, this so far. And then the tank continues on the other side. So on this bit, Europe, who hasn't been yeah. to Europe? My wife and I have ridden down this bit. I've been to almost all of these countries with my work. Again, well, that's just the a Africa, uh, sorry, Europe. You got and one bit there. 2024 is this bit here. thought this is unusual country we might get a photo of this sort of thing you don't see this very much so a lot of no termite mounts any interesting facts about termites there keep Anyone? them away from your house that's all i know <laughs> it cost me a fortune <laughs> no i don't know they what they were just selling a termite chili jam somewhere they which were sounded interesting yeah, you know, i don't know what the story there was yeah. probably pretty uh high protein <laughs> yum I keep up with these two yeah how's that going yeah Pretty good, eating a lot of D-U-S-T. Is that okay, Locke? I'm fine. <laughs> Are you not allowed to say dust? No. Oh, well, well, if we said that word, we'd be saying it every, you know, hour or so, so we, we try to make a rule to remove the word. First one that says it, buys beers. Who, who's that so far? Anyone, anyone said it? I think I might be in trouble today. <laughs> so, yeah, I guess that's beers to me. Okay, so we're father and son, but our other son's ridden past us, waving and... And we've got his lunch. We've got his lunch, so I don't know what the story is there. And Zane is a mate of ours. So we've ridden across from WA to Cairns to do the ride, and uh, we'll ride back to Darwin and ship our bikes home. Actually really good, really good. Just nice bitchy to get warmed up and then um, onto that lovely dirt, just flying along. Just nice, fast, sweeping roads, loving it. A little bit of water here and there, but um, it's nice to have that breeze and um, to get the dust out. So you're not following close, but you can still see the rider in front of you and to stop for some lunch. So, well, this would be the ideal spot. I used to work at um, Century Mine out at Lawn Hill National Park, which is about 80k out of um, Gregory Downs, where we're going tonight. So, I haven't explored the area much, but I have um, been out here for quite a few years. I heard my uh, text messages pinging as I came in and I thought this is where I wanted to stop and have a break anyway, so this is a um, pretty special place I reckon just to hang out before we get to a, a dusty pub in the middle of nowhere. How many more k's to go, Miles? Uh, we've done 200 and something, so 
probably 150. 150. So I think um, probably get in at about three o'clock, which is plenty early. So I'd rather stretch it out a bit. Yeah. Yeah, that's the plan. You're definitely doing that. Yeah. <laughs> Boothy and Skip leaving, having breakfast. I know, what a day. You sunbathing. We don't normally have days like this, so after two big days, set it at cruise control at 110 and just listen to the tunes and take it easy. levering the bike while they uh, <laughs> repair the front wheels. And I definitely got the easiest job out of the, out of the three of us. Okay. Oh, easy. Just getting a suntan yeah. while my brother holds us up for an hour. Yeah. I've heard you're the smoother rider. No, oh, absolutely. <laughs> Every time. No, I was actually in his dust. I just let him hit the rock first. <laughs> Actually a pub in a paddock, but then you just go down around the corner and down like into like kind of a gorge and there's this stunning crystal clear creek that runs through over rocks and it's about waist deep, safe to swim in with like um, swinging ropes and stuff and you literally just float down with some thongs, get out at one end, walk back up, do it again. He was really cool. If you've got time, head on that way, just behind the bridge. Yeah, but I was almost going to give the bike a bit of a wash as well, but I decided against it. Maybe some happy snap to alligators will come and cross the Yeah, coming and cross into the, across the of Way, all of a sudden this guy from Sprabrock was bringing this whole herd of cows over. Uh, thousands of heads of cattle. Uh, really, really cool. We've got full on Yellowstone right there. absolutely brilliant like full-on uh, wild west out there with cows everywhere cowboys uh, on horses on dirt bikes so it's pretty cool 10 minutes mm -hmm. no one could get across it was that many really heads of cattle that right? yeah please don't block it off a short but sweet day today leaving Karamba. We've just arrived here into Gregory. We're all staying here at the Gregory Downs Roadhouse. No fuel stations here in Gregory, so we've got a bit of a, our own pop-up fuel station going on behind me, filling up the fuel bladders and the bikes, ready to go for another day tomorrow. Off to Hell's Gate. Well guys, we just wrapped up day three of the 2023 BMW Safari GS Enduro. Uh, we went from Karumba to Gregory Downs at this beautiful little uh little hotel here there's not a whole lot in this town it's not a big city that's for sure but we had a had a really cruisy day today after two massive days to start start the enduro off today was a little bit cruisy which everyone appreciated we started about 10 to 10 30 our leave window was a little bit different created a bit more of a relaxed uh environment and a, a really nice vibe the guys got here there's some awesome swimming holes they've um they've been to check out tomorrow we're ready to rock and roll we're going from gregory downs to hell's gate it's only about 286k but really technical um, there's some creek crossings on the recce that were sort of still waist deep so I'm excited to see how they end up I'm gonna say they're probably a little bit less hopefully because it hasn't rained too much but um yeah the group's going awesome everyone's super happy it's it's a really nice bunch to be honest and and the riding I've never been up here to ride and, and the riding's impressing me every day can't wait to see what tomorrow holds and we'll get out and uh, get out and do it all again
bit of a sleep in again this morning, to be honest. So quite nice to be up and actually having a chat with a couple of different humans, which is nice, rather than being on a motorcycle and duck dodging kangaroos. So we a pretty short day today into Hell's Gate Roadhouse. I think it's big cam night for everyone. Apparently there's a little bit of techo stuff this morning, so we'll roll into it and see what the day brings, I guess. Well, today we've got our first decent water crossings. When we did the recce, we were told there's no way we'd get through it. So we figured we'd check it out anyway, and we got through it. And it was okay. It wasn't too bad. We rode the bikes through, but it's going to be a bit lower now. So for the group, it'll be, oh, look, it'll be a bit cheap, challenging in places, but it's, I'd say it's all achievable. We just need to make sure we don't drown any bikes and get to Dumaji. big rocks that I can see either. A bit of flow to the water. Perfectly serviceable too. Come to check out this uh, this little creek crossing. Pretty awesome. What a what a crack of what we're only in about 50 or 60k and we're into some pretty cool stuff already. So can't wait to see when the customers get here and blast through. Should be good. Bit of a creek crossing. This one's probably got the loosest gravel, so you know, people just need to keep a little bit of momentum and keep the power on as they come out. If you hesitate or wobble and pull in the clutch, you'll just get stuck. So everyone looks like they're doing it pretty bloody good, I reckon. Good day. Sand only got me once, but that was enough. You know, Chris was, uh, was just sitting there waiting for something to happen, so I needed to give him something, you know, you know so we could justify, you know, parking up at that spot, you know. <laughs> so here we are, Dom Doma G, Doma Doody, G to Doody, Doma G Roadhouse. Just had a fantastic morning, sandy, 
quite loose, some very sketchy parts. There was a lot of warning signs out there today and most people paid attention. We've had a couple of little minor scrapes and scratches. Some river crossings which always provide plenty of entertainment. And uh, yeah, some very tricky little sand sections. Uh, there was a, quite a few bikes on the floor at times. But absolutely fantastic ride. Completely different to the previous days. And uh, I mean, quite short yep. K's, I think about 270 total today, but like very challenging, fantastic fun. Elizabeth Creek and it's, uh, it's a decent length across but luckily it's gone down in the last month so it's pretty achievable. I haven't seen um, anyone really faff it up. It's uh, pretty friendly, there's a nice smooth line, there's some rocks under it but nothing too aggressive. We'll watch Andre do it, he's going to make me proud. First gear cruising across, it was about a foot and a half deeper last time we were here. So that way a bit, go back again, it's all over it. Last guy didn't leave. All in the dust, but that's what we're doing. That's what happened. So it's been a classic day today. It's been like absolutely awesome. So a little bit of everything. A um, couple of creek crossings, which was uh, yeah, a bit spicy at some creek stage. Crossings. Yeah, three of them. Um, but yeah, really varied terrain, and it's just been a like a heap of fun. Probably the best day so far. Just loved it. Awesome. Good Managed to stay up in the river, so I was happy. And then, uh, yeah, the rest of them are just my motorbike and the dust. <laughs> yeah, I saw some brumbies along the road here. You see those? No? Yeah, they were just a quite, like, quite an hour from along here. I mean, some of the hawks have been pretty close. They don't want to yeah. leave their kill. They're kites. Kites, yeah. Yeah, yeah. They're amazing. You fly along and they're last minute they're off and gone. Yeah, they like to eat drones too. <laughs> yeah. Did you see them near the fire? Yeah. So they're picking off all the insects, leaving, and they grab oh, them right. and just eat them straight like that while they're flying. While they're flying. Yeah. Just bang. Yeah, I've got friends who can't eat them all. These guys are eating and flying. Nature is wonderful. <laughs> very first one so we thought we'd go in the deep end and do the enduro nice little short one only 3000 k's for a first first trip with us the bmw so i know it's been awesome and i say it's, it's it's only a, a short part of our little trip we've got to look after ourselves because we got another two and a half thousand three thousand back to cairns and then back up to cape up to the cape after this so yeah this is a like a three-week adventure for us minimum so this is just the start, so. You didn't get these in with the safari, so you no, no. the enduro. So we thought we'd do the, the, the enduro first while we've got plenty of energy, and then we can relax and just take it easy and enjoy the scenery for the, for the next two weeks and so get up the cape. Then we'll be back again next year to do the other half of this one. So rule number one, you follow the trail and the markers, and I missed one, um, which took me into a little creek bed and um, yeah, so I went in the creek bed, it was really soft. It was, I was stuck there for 40 minutes trying to get it out of the, out of the sand, um, trying to get it up this bit of a, a berm, but um, yeah, I just kept getting bogged down there. So um, luckily those, those coal miners came down and, and gave me a hand. Yeah, put the wind straps on and pulled me out with the, this patrol. Get out of here. 
Uh, just some tech stuff, you know. Scotty helped me out, tightened up a spoke. Got my petrol cap to open and close properly. So yeah, so I'm about to go and buy him a drink. Yeah, no, it was it was fantastic. Um, opportunity to get into trouble and get out of trouble and know you can do it. Yeah, it's really good. And even simple things that you know you've been told in training and then it leaves your head. And at the time it's like, yeah, just turn traction control off for the frequency. Oh yeah. So everything else went well after that. Really good. Really good. Super opportunity to learn on the job. Okay, so we had an opportunity to get up with these guys and get a bit of you know, We will be absolutely awesome. Looking forward to it. I will have it off on now because otherwise we'll miss it. That's right, it sticks. Yeah, we just left Hell's Gate. We left camp at about 5.30 so that we could catch the lead riders take it off along this road. Yeah, this is this is kind of what we do every day. We're up early, gotta get ahead of the pack so that we can film them all coming through and then try to keep ahead of them all. And we just have to wait. crossing into the Northern Territory from Queensland. We're making some headway now. What is it? Day five. Day five. Queensland's a big ass state. We rode for five days before we got to the border from the coast. So it's um yeah it's nice to see this this change and head into the Northern Territory which means we're starting to head get towards Darwin which is pretty cool but a little bit sad. We're drawing towards the end of the week three days to go and uh, Darwin's getting closer. Bit of fun, bit of fun in the dust and ball, ball dust and sand. All good though. Miles said he saw the side of a bike a few times. Well, I got stuck, so I, I was uh, trying to stop to have a bite. Exited the road and it hit very soft sand. And it, the more I tried to get out, it kind of buried the back wheel. So I stepped off the bike and just let it stand there by itself, waiting for some help. Got a little bit loose. But still here. Outback swallows you up. <laughs> It's a nice warm day, so if we're on the move and there's airflow blue jackets, it's a good thing. Everyone's um, cruising along in a decent, decent pace and we're making good time from Morales Springs. Just um, got fuel in Borolula. A few water crossings this morning and the roads are actually getting a bit more sandy. So um, we're just trying to keep everything in check and get, get everyone into Lorella Springs. Enjoying skatey surfaces rough surfaces and water crossings. Well, we left from Hell, Hell's Gate this morning. So, it's interesting riding, but challenging in the morning for a few, so, but just in, enjoying the open road and the dust again. Go, go to Lorella Springs and definitely go for a dip, I think. Whether it's warm or not. So, get some of this dust off. Certainly. It's hot spring, isn't it, too? <laughs> it's, it's, it's wet, it'll be right. Sure, there's, there's some, got to be some cold water there. Yeah. 
One kangaroo went that way and the other one went that way. We went, OK, here we go. The other one turned around and went, Just hatch into the turn to clean up all the animals up here, aren't you? <laughs> it's, a, it's a bit sandy. I've never been there, so I look forward to seeing what it looks like, but it should be fun. Let's do it. It's awesome loving the um, sandy bits today. It's more of a challenge. Uh, yeah, managed to get through it okay. Some sky. I really enjoyed the sandy road from um, Hell's Gate to Boralula. I thought that was probably the best, the funnest bit of the ride for me so far. Most challenging kind of long stretch. Uh, I really enjoyed it. hoping that the wind would come more for us push across because the bits where the wind come across and you can see each other and you can get up a little bit yeah. it's beautiful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, long, but been good, a bit of water, back, plenty yeah. of sand, a fair bit of uh, corrugation but it's good I um, stiffened up my suspension so it's, the back end's been pretty good. Had a nice hamburger at the last place, can't remember the name of the town. Yeah, I think I had the middle section the two guys that had a little bit of trouble oh, right. in the sand and I followed and followed no, no, and got up the sides of Okay, we're good. Yeah. Go for it. And I, I didn't have no one for probably yeah, a good 10, 12, 15 minutes and just 95, 100 through the hills around the ends. A few wheelies over the, the little bundies and keep going. It was awesome. I've been sitting on my, uh, my fuel bladder just hanging right back and letting the front end ride. So it's been good. Just a quick regroup before Heading into the radar, I split right there. Yeah, go again. Just a quick regroup before we let, head into Lorella Springs. We've got about 30k to go, so we'll make sure the group's all good to go. Just a last stop, get some water into them, and um, it should get a bit interesting from here. I believe it gets a bit more sandy, loose, so we'll just make sure everyone gets in and yeah, roll in. How good is this place? A little oasis in the desert. I had a swim before and it is a leap. Oh, wow. warm, yeah. It's like naturally hot. Lots of minerals, good for the body. I feel brand new. So nearly 500 k's in the dirt today. It was a nice way to end the day with a frothy one and welcome everyone in and tell them good job. All right. That's a hard track in. It's all worth it, mate. Well, no, I made a mind hurt his shoulder, but otherwise, yeah, we're all good. All good, but tired. Five o'clock. 5.30 is Queensland time. Stuffed. Fine for a Feel good, Dad. Feel good. Thank you, mate. Going side by side in sports when it was safe, and it's like, yeah, unbelievable. For like 300 kilometers. Yeah. Epic. Complete long riding. The other days were good in itself with the terrain that we had, but I reckon just the way we were riding today, it was it was awesome. It seems to get better and better as a thing, right? Eh? Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's it's like red wine, this ride. <laughs> <laughs> What's been happening? Been riding some sand until Arella Springs. Got a little bit of a bog hole here. So you guys need some help and pushing bikes and some advice getting through it, but we're getting it done.
Oh, it was busy, long, technical, marathon day really. And that last sand really threw a few curveballs at her, kept me on my feet and on deck once. Got back up and everything's good. We got in and uh, be happy to have a beer. Well, we finally made it. And I have to admit that the last 27 tents were a little bit taxing. It was a fair bit of a challenge. Would call it a sand pit pretty much all the way. I wasn't that person on the bike either, to be honest. It yeah. was absolutely awesome, but towards the end, I was looking forward to the watering hole. It's good to be here. <laughs> You're good to be here? One piece. Good day. We told you, we told you. You got that driveway first thing in the morning when you're full of beans. When you're full of beans, you're going to, all that wobbling and dabbing and flopping, there'll be none of that. No, not going to Good night's sleep, a couple of coffees, you'll be on the pegs, just powering through like a guru. Like a butterfly. Yeah. Like a top my You probably won't even hit the sand. You'll probably just clear it. to do when they got in town so a lot of loose spokes uh, a few tires as usual a little bit of crash damage nothing too bad nothing we couldn't fix get them back on the road for this morning yeah, just getting all fueled up ready to rock and roll yeah looking forward to it just putting the last of the bladder in and uh, yeah it's gonna be an interesting uh, trip out of the driveway but uh, once we're underway I'm sure everything's gonna be awesome so yeah looking forward to that so, a bit of a different plan this morning, we're going to pack everything up and uh, have a little briefing, probably right out in groups, try and keep everyone nice and safe and sound. The, uh, but other than that, we're all ready to go, we're going to run safely through next up and we've got to get the we are. Ready for a good day. <clears throat> Exciting new day. Put a sand to start with, just to warm us up. On a day number, are we? Must be day number six, I think. We're at the beautiful Lorella Springs, an amazing property tucked up right at the uh, coastline of uh, the Northern Territory. We crossed the border yesterday from Hell's Gate. Epic outback roads, good water crossings, some dusty bits and bull dust. And then we had this 29k driveway that uh, I guess was the, the bit that really challenged most people at the end of the day. And today we're heading straight back out the driveway. Got a, a great day to Matarenka. Only two more days to go. What's going on? Pumping gas. Thirty-five pumps. Eight liters. Yeah, we'll protect them. What here or what? It's day six and the group's just left Lorella Springs on the way to Mataranka. I'm actually driving in the support vehicle for a change, ensuring that all of our riders get to Mataranka safely. Let's see what happens today. Woo!
right way. Do you think we should go back in again? That, that's a famous driveway. Some people will live the rest of their life with clear memories of the driveway. And actually it's in really good shape for that was nine years ago. That's what to do with the whole day. It's an adventure. And for the ones who got through and without dropping their bike and they're just keeping it solid, they're the hero. Yeah, there was a bike. Yeah, there was a bike. Right on the edge, yeah, just like, literally yeah, yeah. just get off and leave the bike there. Yeah, yeah, the wheel is completely Yeah, just, you can stand by itself. Yeah. This is uh, definitely the full enduro kind of experience, so. Those extra two days just really push you. Yeah. Mm. yeah. That's where you've got to be smart. Very good, yeah. Coming out that sandy crossing was uh, a lot better than it was yesterday. I think it's because we're full of energy. First thing in the morning, get straight into it, it's fantastic. No, no off, um, got the group through. It was yeah, a lot of teamwork going on. I witnessed uh, four little accidents, but everyone was just jumping in and helping everyone pick up the bikes. So it was great to see so much teamwork, really good. up our direction. Everyone's gone through so try not to leave the trace and not fall over in the process.
day six is done. We're here in Mataranka. Riders briefing's going on behind me right now as I speak. Just going through all the logistics and the rider briefing for our final day rolling into Darwin tomorrow. Everyone's super pumped. A little bit, it's quite bittersweet actually. It's a final day, but everyone's looking forward to getting into Darwin, finishing the safari and having a drink and having a good dinner together. Woo! It's the final night on tour and the boys are working hard to make sure everyone gets into Darwin tomorrow. We've been working pretty late today. We've, it's just after nine o'clock and um, we're about to wrap things up for the night. Tomorrow we're all into Darwin and make sure everyone gets in well and safe. And um, yeah, after an epic week out, it was uh, a pretty good experience. Lizard here in, uh, where am I? I don't even know where I am anymore. That's okay there, so we're on our final day, journey into Darwin today. Just done our first fuel stop for the morning. Um, that'll be it until we get to Darwin now. Got another 270 k's of off-roading to do. Really looking forward to getting through Chippewary Station today. Should be a nice little loop through there. A little bit sad that it's all coming to an end, but uh, what an epic journey it's been across the top end of Australia. Man and machine doing their thing. How good. No, it's just fantastic. I just love these big sweeping turns and you can just roll on the power out of it. It's, uh, it's just lovely. In a beautiful part of the world. And I'm just not looking forward to going back to work next week. <laughs> and that's looming very quickly. Focus at the job at hand and uh, enjoy the, uh, the last moments, last minutes of this. This is, um, so we're near Adelaide River over here. I used to live in Darwin. So yeah, we used to come down here. Robin Falls was a bit of an old hangout. And uh, yeah, crocodiles everywhere. property just like opening up on those farm roads and you can just see like the landscape right to the edges and the mountains and, and creek crossings it doesn't get much better than this right yeah who would want to be in Sydney, in Sydney and work right now although I, didn't, I think it's a Sunday I don't even know <laughs> that's how good it is <laughs> what a cool location to, um, to be riding today so not anyone can come in and ride it through the property but we've got permission from the landowners and they're happy to have us along and do the 77k loop through their property. We've got a water crossing here and um, yeah, I'm just stationed here to, to see everyone through and make sure everyone's all good, but such a beautiful day out here. Great cross. 
thing here. Um, just watched an 800 drop it in probably knee deep water. He fell over backwards and rolled in the water. And then had a good swim. Yes, had a good swim. good swim. And then, yeah, but stood up, looked at his bike, thought, oh shit. But didn't do anything about it for 15 seconds. <laughs> but yeah, maybe not next time. Tipperary Station, Northern Territory. A cold cup of tea. Yeah, I think we've been hot dogs given a bum steer, you know. Helicopter ride instead. Wrap it up. <laughs> Time to go. We have pulled in here to do a bit of ball driving and or off-road motorcycling. Went through a big creek crossing, which was pretty exciting. And now having a cup of tea to relax. <laughs> Darwin for <laughs> cold cups of tea, also known as beer. Darwin. How are we? We're here. Seven days, 3,000 K or whatever, and here we are. How cool. Hell yeah! Woo! Done, dusted! Ha! Awesome, awesome. Hey, what a fantastic day in Tipperary. Man, I've never seen a place like that. What a fabulous opportunity to go in and see that. Very special. Welcome to Darwin and the final dinner of the 2023 BMW GS Safari Enduro. Behind me are 130 very excited participants who have finished a seven day ride from Cairns to Darwin, part one of the long way across. This week has offered everything, a little bit of camaraderie, um, new friendships, lots of adventures outside of riding, some scenic helicopter flights, hot pools and, and more. We've had a great time and um, we hope these guys are ready to go again for part two next year. Darwin to Brooke. <laughs>